Okay, you guys, so for this particular video, I am going to use a real life scenario to teach you guys a very valuable lesson early on. And so when I met with my client, she expressed to me that she wanted her colors to be red, black, silver, and white. And so when we visited the venue, I immediately noticed that the paint on the wall was yellow. I noticed that the carpet on the floor was red and black and gold, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing. And I also noticed that the chairs were very nice chairs for an event venue. Um, and they were like more of a deep cranberry maroonish color with gold legs. But what I kept in my mind was that my client wanted black, white, red, and silver. And so this brings me to point number one. And that is, you know, to get with your client and to get a keen understanding of the vision that they have in mind and figure out right, right away if any parts of that vision is tweakable or workable or changeable. And so the first thing I presented to her was that number one, the walls were yellow. Number two, the carpet was red, black, and gold. And number three, the chairs were cranberry and gold. And so with that being said, I knew that we would either have to drape the entire room, we would have to come up with a complete dance floor or a faux floor to cover the carpet, or we would have or we would and we would also have to change the chairs for the venue. And so upon meeting with my client, of course, I presented all three of these ideas to her, but I also presented more of a budget friendly um, idea. And that was to use what we had, to utilize what we had and to change only what was necessary. And so as you guys can see, the walls were yellow, the carpet was red, the chairs were cranberry and gold, and her colors were black, white, silver, and red and so the first thing i suggested was that she took away the white um, because of the bold colors in the room i didn't feel like white would flow as well as you know perhaps the gold the blacks and the red with the way that the space was already decorated so i asked her how much she loved the white she wasn't absolutely in love with the white as a matter of fact the bridesmaids and the flower girl dresses were black and so taking away the white was not really a big deal as she would be wearing white herself and so that was the first suggestion that i made the second thing was when you see something in a room try to visualize what the room would look like if that major thing went away. So for me, the major thing was the yellow paint on the wall. I knew that that wasn't anything that draping couldn't fix. And so I visualized what I would want that room to look like if the room was completely blacked out with black drapes. It didn't really take a lot of swags or a lot of, uh, you know, really intricate designs. I just wanted simple black draping. And when I envisioned the room fully enclosed with black drapes, I knew that I needed some up lights. And so I added in the up lights, added in the black drapes, we kept the carpet and we kept the chairs with the cranberry color and the gold legs. And the reason we did that is because I felt like the budget was better allocated with using it to uh, drape the walls. I felt like you would get a bigger effect. And so that would be my number two recommendation for you. And that is to spend the money where you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck or where you're going to get the biggest effect. And so for me, that was going to be the draping. I wanted to put the money in that area. I knew I could kind of make the carpet disappear with black linens and things of that nature. And red was also a part of her color scheme. So having that red didn't was not like just totally out of the question. It actually added a little bit of ambiance to our space. And so my number two recommendation again would be to spend your money or allocate the budget where it's going to have the biggest impact. 
So whether that's going to be, to me, the floor kind of disappears once you add chairs and linens and things of that nature and you dim the lights, the floor will kind of disappear. But the walls are gonna be present in every single photo. And so I wanted to make sure that the walls and the lighting was gonna be um, where we place most of our emphasis uh, in terms of designing the overall space. And so, that is where we opted to um, allocate the budget in order to bring her vision into fruition. And my final, third and final point is this, and that is to uh, find small touches that you can incorporate that will tie the entire thing together, okay? Find small touches, small inexpensive touches that you can incorporate that will entire uh, that will tie the entire theme together. And so for me, that was adding in the maroon or cranberry colored napkins because the chairs were a maroon cranberry color. Um, we had the red napkins, we had the black linens and the beautiful red centerpieces, but tying in that cranberry napkin was absolutely the cherry on top. It tied in the chairs, even though the cranberry and reds, to me, you know, they are um, of the same color family. It kind of blends, you know, things don't have to be matchy matchy, but just adding in that pop of cranberry slash maroon in the napkin made all the difference. And it even tied into the menu cards, it tied into the chairs, and it just looked like a complete work of art. It looked like you meant for it to be that way. And so that is my last point. You know, once you decide on what you are going to do and how you're going to transform the space and how you're going to utilize most of what you have with minimal uh, financial impact or minimal costs, you want it to look like you meant it to be that way. And so when I added in that maroon napkin and the Lux Academy students alternated the red and the maroon throughout the space, you guys, it looked exactly like we intended it to be that way. From the, the, the ornate design on the menu cards matching the ornate carpet, it looked like we intended it to be that way. And so when you're having to make concessions and tough decisions, I always, always, always incorporate these top three tips that I shared with you in this video. And once you put that cherry on top, before you tie that bow, you look at the entire design and ask yourself, does it look like I meant it for it to look this way? And if it does, you have a winner. If not, make some adjustments and move forward. But don't be suckered into this theory that you have to go out and spend all this money for upgraded chairs, uh, upgraded flooring, and all of these things, and you don't get to walk away with your happy money. And my Lux Academy students know exactly what I mean by that. In Lux Academy, I teach a formula called the Happy Money, Sad Money Formula, and it's based off the scripture, the blessings of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow. And so from that, I gave them a Happy Money, Sad Money Formula, and in that formula, um, I teach them how to price. And so when you start spending money that is not necessarily allocated towards uh, that particular item number or uh, that ex particular expense, then you start digging into your very own profit and you don't walk away with happy money. And so this is a way that both you and your client can be happy with the final results by using what you have in your hands and only making the changes that have the biggest impact. So again, as a reminder, here is what the venue looked like before. Um, the yellow walls, the flooring, it's very spacious, very big. I absolutely love that aspect of it. The only thing that we had to absolutely change was to cover up the walls to make that space a little bit more um, conducive to 
what my client wanted for her theme and for her event. So the students of Wex Academy designed this event um, along with me. They did an incredible job. If you guys would like to join us, visit me at luxacademy.online. I teach classes both online and in person. And here is what it looks like after. I'm gonna give you guys some music for your listening pleasure. You are the reason why I make it through I can't live without you, breathe without you Hey, you are the only one, yeah, that is true I can't live without you, breathe without you Oh, I believe in you and me together You and me always forever absolutely unbelievably beautiful transformation but let me know what you think down in the comments below the students of Lux Academy did an incredible job pulling this all together um, with all of the time restraints they get to see what really goes on behind the scene how we work through everything and what it really truly takes to design and transform a venue I have said this once and I will say it again you know a lot of times people uh, think that having inventory is designing to me designing is creativity and we really need to get back to the creativity of designing an event and get back to those creative stages where we have to make decisions on a dime in order to create that beautiful vision or to make that beautiful vision come into fruition for our clients. And so I absolutely love the way that this turned out. Um, I just, I was ecstatic with how well the students perform. I hope you guys um, found some, this video very helpful for you and all of your designing uh, needs and tips for the future. So definitely let me know which tip you was your favorite down in the comments. I hope you guys so enjoyed, enjoyed this video with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!